A speech impediment, remember that? Yeah. Yeah. He'd say, I'd run you my crutch when you sweep it. <laughs> oh, Arlen over there can take some good ones, too. I know. You'd call a moonshine, did you, Arlen? <laughs> in a green and white 56 Ford? Uh, <laughs> Me and Arlen hauled enough carpet to California to cover the whole state. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. Uh, it was the summer of 72, and uh, Ronnie had his 57 Ford. He had a 57 Ford with a 351 Cleveland. And I don't know what in the world they'd done to that engine, but it was a jet plane, all right? I heard after that that, uh, that uh, what's that? Ernie, Ernie Elliott had built it. It's what I heard, and I don't know if that's true or not, but it's believable because that car would scream bloody murder. And they, I was a little old boy, I was 16. We used to hang out at the service station over here. It was called the Inco. They changed it to the Exxon later. Yeah. Inco, ain't that right? Uh, it was the Esso. Esso, that's what it was. Yeah. Esso station, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we was hanging out there, everybody was. And, uh, old, uh, I didn't know what was going on. T.C. Carringer and Dewey Sellers. And uh, I think Jimmy Bryant was in on it. Ronnie Cancer went out there and cranked up his Ford and brought it out there. He won trophies with that. He'd go over there somewhere racing and win trophies with it all the time. And uh, <clears throat> so the Ford cranked up, and it rattled the windows and every damn blame building around that thing. But he pulled up in front of the station just right there. Okay, and them three grabbed me. T.C., Dewey Sellers, and Jimmy Bryant grabbed me. I was a little greasy-headed boy, 16 I was. They put me in the car with Ronnie Cantrell and slammed the door and the rubber started burning, Lord have mercy. We went up to Main Street right there. Used to be the Ford place right there where Regents is. Yeah. And uh, he grabbed second gear and my seat broke. The back of my seat broke. I went plumb in the back seat, just flying. And so finally I got up, we got up there to traffic light, and I got up, and I was holding under the seat, uh, the dash then. He took me out to uh, Carter K, 52 East. Oh boy. It was a sight. It was a sight how we went out through there. Ronnie was a little old bitty short guy. He didn't drive like we do. You know, we drive like this. Ronnie didn't drive like that. He, he got up on the edge of the seat and he drove just like a little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and he still but he could drive. He could drive. Is he still alive? Uh, yeah. He's still yeah. alive? Yeah, he is. I actually ain't been a long time, but he's still a little short. Now. I know. Yeah. And, uh, we hit Drunkard Spring Curve out there. I remember he was running 115 miles per hour. And it's, it let go. The car was coming around, you know. It, it lost traction. He busted that Cleveland to the bottom right there, and it surged forward so fast with such a surge that it pulled it back straight, and we went up through there like a blue streak. He knew how to drive that car. Yeah. Scared me to death. I saw Jesus many times doing that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>